How is money deposited in a bank? Money may be deposited in the form of cash or in the form of a check. When it is in the form of a cash, the depositor takes the money, goes to his bank and hands over the money to the cashier of the bank. He fills it, a pay-in slip, which is a pre-printed form and requires the name of the account holder, his account number, the date on which the money is being deposited and the details of the currency notes which are being deposited. The cashier verifies the details, the currency notes and then deposits the money into his account. In banking terminology, the bank credits the depositor's account. Please note that whenever Money is deposited into an account, the account gets credited. And whenever money is withdrawn, the account gets debited. This is because when bank accepts money, its liability increases. When money is withdrawn from the account, its liability decreases. The other form of deposit is in the form of a check. When a payer issues a check, a per pay person making the payment is a payer, the person receiving the payment is the payee. So let us say the payer has issued a check to the beneficiary. This check may either be a bearer check or it may be a cross check. How does one distinguish between a bearer check and a cross check? This is a form of a check. A blank check, a check in which nothing has been filled in. Let us just fill in and distinguish between a cross check and a bearer check. Pay. Ritsi. name of the person, the beneficiary or the pay, the date, let us take any tentative date, an amount of rupees, let us say 5,000 only, and then there is a signature here. This is a bearer check. What is the distinctive feature of a bearer check is that it can be presented over the counter and money collected. So person carrying any person carrying a bearer check can go to the payer's bank, present the check and collect cash. On the other hand, if the check were crossed, that is drawing two parallel lines across the check, we also sometimes write account payee or on account here. It becomes a cross check indicating that this money can be paid only to the account of the beneficiary. It cannot be encashed over the counter. Cash cannot be collected against this check. This check can only go into the account of the beneficiary. Let us once again understand the flow of this transaction in the bank. In case of a cross check, the beneficiary deposits this check into his bank account. The bank sends this check for a process called clearing. We shall take up this clearing in a moment. If there are adequate funds in the payer's account, signature tallies, etc., the check is cleared. In that case, the beneficiary bank, the bank of the beneficiary, 
credits the account and the bank of the payer debits the payer's account. In effect, funds are transferred from the payer's account to the beneficiary's account. Please note that this whole process may take a few days. For example, the payer may issue the check to the beneficiary on a particular date, but the beneficiary may deposit the check on a different date. The check would go for clearing on yet another date and the final credit and debit to the beneficiary's account and the payer's account respectively would be on another date. Before we discuss these timing differences, let us quickly understand the process of clearing. 